Shortly after my Raspberry Pi 4 USB boot video was released, the beta boot loader was promoted to stable. And now I want to show you several things. First, how to install the stable boot loader from scratch. Second, how to update your boot loader from beta to stable. And that is only if you followed my previous tutorial. Hello, Kiryu Peraskis here. Some of you can use this video to install the latest stable boot loader that will enable USB boot on a Raspberry Pi 4. Some of you told me that they want to upgrade their beta boot loader to stable and I'll try to cover all of that. But don't worry, it will be easier than you think. And I will put a timetable in the video description so you can skip to the part that is the most interesting for you. Of course, if you watch the whole video, that will be the best reward for my work. Let's start this. Go to raspberrypi.org and click on Downloads. Download the Raspberry Pi Imager for your operating system. In my case, it's macOS. I already downloaded this and I installed it already in order not to waste your time. In order to start it on macOS, press Command plus Spacebar. This will start the Spotlight search and enter Raspberry and start the Raspberry Pi Imager. Insert your SD card to your computer, go to the first option, which is recommended option, and it will install the Debian with Raspberry Pi desktop for you. Choose again your SD card and click on Write. It asks me for my administrator password. Okay, this will download the Raspberry Pi OS image and it will burn it to your SD card. If you are currently using SD card and you want to boot your Raspberry Pi 4 from SSD or HDD or even USB flash drive, follow these instructions. Log in to your router and find the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. Copy this address. Open a terminal and enter SSH P at the IP address. The default password is Raspberry. Then execute the following command to update your Raspberry. sudo apt update I will now execute the apt-get upgrade-es to upgrade all the packages that includes RPI, EEPROM and EEPROM images which is the needed packages for my Upgrade. The apt get upgrade is now complete and now proceed with the next step which is RPI update. I'll copy this, now paste it here. Remember this RPI update is not part of the regular updating process of Raspberry. Say yes here and wait for the two to finish. When RP update finished, just reboot your Raspberry. The process is pretty much the same as in my previous video, with few minor differences that I'm about to show you. Log into your Raspberry and edit the following file using your favorite text editor. The only thing that you have to change here is the critical one with stable. That means if there is stable update of the Raspberry firmware, allow the update. By default, only critical updates are allowed. Press Ctrl plus X and then Y to save the file. If you are already on beta bootloader, follow these steps. Log into your Raspberry, execute the following command, and you should see the word beta in this file. And we have to replace this beta with stable. To do that, we will modify a bit this command. We will change this word from beta 
to stable and critical to beta. This command will replace beta, this word here, with stable in this file. Now hit enter. Now I'll double check the content of this file and as you can see the word here is now stable. As you may know, the YouTube algorithm promotes videos that have a lot of watch time, likes and subscribes. So if you want to help me and other people interested, you know what to do. I won't say nothing more about subscribes and likes in this video. But I just did that, didn't I? Never mind. Login again and then execute this command. Not beta, we will need the stable track now. Stable and the latest date, which currently is from 15th of June. That's it. Just hit enter and it will flash your bootloader with the latest stable release. Although the bootloader has now been promoted to stable, it should be still used with caution. Not all USB drives can be used to boot your Raspberry Pi 4. To see the compatible drives, check the video description where I put devices reported by me and other users as working just fine. Now you have to reboot. Login again. And check your bootloader version with this column. June 15th! Yes! This is the stable release. Very good. You can also check your config. This is the important setting. That means boot from SD card. And if there is no SD card, boot from the USB drive. The final step here is to copy some files from SD card to our USB drive. To do that, you have to burn Raspberry OS on your USB drive. In my case, it's SSD. Then we have to copy the files, as I said before. I will connect my SSD to the Raspberry and I'll execute these comments. If you want to install your Raspberry Pi 4 completely headless, that means without monitor, keyboard or mouse attached, exactly as I'm doing, please check my other video where I'm showing all of the details for SSH and VNC remote logins. The SSD is now connected to the USB port of the Raspberry Pi 4 and I'll execute this command. It's already created, file exists, that is because I did that for the better track before. Now I will mount the drive with this command, which is OK. And then I'll copy all the ELF files from SD card to the SSD drive. That's ready. And then I'll do the same for the .dat files. Paste, enter, and I'm good to go. And eventually everything will be fine and I will have the final stable bootloader and I will be able to boot from my SSD drive. I will halt the Raspberry and I will remove the SD card and then I will power on again the Raspberry and hopefully it will boot from the USB drive. If the speed difference between SD card and SSD drive is not enough for you, please bear in mind that the durability and stability is also a big factor. My SD card got corrupted several times since I have my Raspberry. We will see what will happen with the SSD drive, but I hope it will be better. Any sort of engagement on this channel does really help a lot with the YouTube algorithm. So you make sure that you hit the subscribe, like and bell buttons if you enjoyed this video. Also, feel free to add me on Twitter by searching for this username. I'm trying to post there frequently. You can also find me on my Discord server as well.
I really hope that you find this information useful and you now know how to boot your Raspberry Pi 4 from USB drive. Stay safe and don't forget, home smart but not hard. Thank you for watching and see you next time.